Hello, AP Computer Science A students. This is Mr. Vargas, and I am here to introduce our third practice free response question. So this question is called cookie order, and it is from the 2010 AP Computer Science A exam. And this question focuses on array lists. Now, if you remember from when I broke down what's going to be on the exam that you guys take, it's going to be two questions, and one of them is going to be on either arrays or array lists. So this week we're going to do an array list question and uh, next week we'll do a question on that focuses on arrays. So again, this question is called cookie order. So this is kind of maybe like um, a program that like, you know, the Girl Scouts would use to manage their cookie orders. And we have in a class called cookie order right here. And none of this code is written for you. And you actually don't have to write any of the cookie order code because there's another class that we're going to be working in. But before I jump into the other class, let's just make sure we understand what this cookie order class is and what it does. It's actually a very simple class. And um, even though it hasn't been done for you, if you want to code this, you could. And in fact, I, I coded it over here and I don't mind showing it to you because you're not actually none of this is actually in the um, in the answers, this is your, this is not what you're going to be doing. Um, but the cookie order class takes in a variety as a variety, and it has uh, the number of boxes. So every cookie order has a variety. So it could be like chocolate chip eight. So this is an order of eight boxes of chocolate chip cookies, or it could be oatmeal four. All right. So you have two instance variables, a string and an int. You see our constructor just allows you to set those instance variables. And then you simply have two getter methods, get variety and get num of boxes. And those just return those two instance variables. It's a pretty simple class. But like I said, you're not, you don't have to do anything here. We're going to be using cookie order. We're going to be using that object in master order. So master order has one instance variable. That instance variable is an array list of cookie orders. And now before I keep on going, you might notice, wait up, that doesn't say array list, that says list. Well, list is that there is, um, it's a super class of array list. And this has been taken off of the AP exam. It is still in the Java language, but you're not going to see list. And if you wanna go ahead and code this, you can, you can just change this to array list. Um, these, the reason list uh, exists is something that I'm that just we're not going to go into. Um, but for your purposes, you can just use the word array list when you code it, or if you if you want, you can just leave it as list. It, 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 it won't change anything. All right. So we have an instance variable of order. It's called orders. I got to watch my language right there because I said of orders. No, it's an array list of cookie orders, and it's named orders. That means this is a list not of numbers, of cookie orders. So the first item in the list is an order. The second item on the list is another order. So it's an array list of cookie orders. Uh, over here we have our constructor. Our constructor just creates a blank and empty uh, array list of cookie orders and stores it inside orders. And then we have add order, right? So whenever somebody wants to add an order to this master order thing, they're gonna use this method right here. And yeah, so I, I, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in a second or in when I get to question B. So this is how you add cookie orders and then the actual work that you have to do. So in part A, you have to create a method called get total boxes. So get total boxes will return the number of boxes in all of the orders. So remember, this is an array list of cookie orders, but each cookie order object has its own, you know, number of boxes. So we'll get into that in a second. And then um, number and then part B, you have to code a method called remove variety. And that takes in a variety. And what that will do is it'll remove all of the cookie orders that are of that variety. So imagine if you're, again, the, the Girl Scouts are using this and they sold out of the Samoa cookies. Those are my favorite. And they sell out of them. They can call remove variety Samoa, uh, Samoa 
and it will go through the entire uh, array list called orders. And anytime it finds an order that was of the variety Samoa, that gets removed. So that's pretty much it. And so down here, they give you a little bit more. So again, over here, this is get total boxes. This is the method where it returns the um, number of boxes in the um, in the in ma in the master order. So the number of boxes in here. The thing you got to remember with this is it's not returning the number of cookie orders. It's returning the number of boxes in all of the cookie orders. And every cookie order object has its own um, number of boxes. All right, and then over here for B, there's a little bit more, they give you a little bit more just to kind of show you how it all works. Uh, over here, we have like a runner code where we create a master order called goodies. And um, then we add an order. So we, so every time you add an order, remember, it's adding a new cookie order. So we've added four orders. And then if you do goodies dot remove variety chocolate chip, um, it will, it returns the number of boxes that were removed and then it will, then it shows you how the master order was changed. So it removed this one, it removed this one, it returns a four because that's how many boxes were removed and the original list looks like this. If you try to remove something that's not there, it returns a zero and does not change the list. So, um, yeah, so this is uh, your next free response. And um, make, make sure you ask me questions. Um, don't wait till the last day to work on it. And uh, good luck.